Hey guys, what's up? Al from It's Android World here, and as you can see from my About Phone menu in the settings, today I'm going to be doing an updated full ROM review and tutorial of HTC Clay's Fast Test ROM. It's a 1.6 based donut ROM, and it is Fast Test 3.0. If you guys don't know, this is the ROM labeled the absolute fastest ROM ever for the G1 and My Touch that I made a video on. You can see I have the latest radio that I will soon be making a video on. I have the ENG SPL and the latest radio, as I just told you guys. And I also have um, a FAT32 partition SD card and nothing else. So let's go ahead and take a look at the ROM. First thing you're probably going to notice is that it has no application drawer. Like always, you just tap on it and it'll light up. And when you scroll it up, it stays lit up. And when you let go, it now turns into that pretty cool All Programs tab right there. You can probably see that sequencing black and the five row icon um, application drawer and that little blue sequenced app, um, Android, dude on the, Android dude on the bottom. If you guys wanted to know about that, you can see when I swipe it down, it stays at all programs. And when I'm on the bottom and I let go, it just fades away. Pretty cool. And the notification bar is also black. You can see right there the battery has the little green notches to let you guys know more specifically the battery. You can see I have a full signal bar and then I'm connected to Wi Fi. And if I tap on Bluetooth right now to turn on Bluetooth to show you guys that every single thing on this ROM is indeed working. So you'll see the Bluetooth icon right there pop up, and Bluetooth is officially on, but I'll turn it off to save some battery. So one thing you guys might want to know is that on the home screen, you can actually slide open your keyboard and the actual ROM will auto-refresh right there. And if you slide close your keyboard, the ROM still stay stays like that. So you do get um, the auto-rotation right on the home screen. And you do get five home screens on this ROM. Something to keep in mind, you can just flick through all five if you want to. Pretty cool. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other features of the ROM. We'll just go ahead and show you guys. It actually comes with this new music player called 3 right there, very first. So if you launch that, it's a pretty interesting music player. Um, I personally prefer the HTC music that he included in one build of his ROM. As you can see, when you first launch it up, it'll tell you that it wants to download Album Art. So you just let that do it, and I'll get back to you guys when that's done. Alright guys, and you can see that once it finishes downloading all the album art, you now get this really interesting layout. You get this little key right there, which is for skip back and skip forward. You can shuffle and re um, have it on replay the song. And you have this little cube feature right here. And you just flick through all the cubes, and you can see it'll start to show you guys the album art that it just downloaded. And you just kind of flick through music. You can actually flick on the cube faster to have it flick through all your songs. And at the very last song, it'll be the very last flip, and you have to flip back over this way. You can just tap play to actually play a song. If you guys want to play it. And to play another song, you can't just tap play again. It'll actually continue playing Chop Suey. So you can actually tap that cube, and then hit the song that you want to play, which is Soldier Boy. Ew. Why is that even on my phone? So that's the music player that comes on it. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other things. So this is a heavily based Eclair ROM as well. So if I launch Open Calculator, you'll see that it is the calculator from the Google Nexus One, which is 2.1.1. For um, the same thing goes with the Clock app. If I launch that open, it's the Clock from the Nexus One, the desktop Clock. I can actually tap that key to instantly dim the phone brightness all the way down. Tap it again to bring it up. You'll see four buttons down the bottom. Tap the alarm, and it'll take me to the alarm clock. You see how fast this ROM is. Tap here and it'll take me to a photo gallery slideshow if I want to do that, which I don't. Tap the music and it'll take you to the default music player, which is the Android um, 2.1.1 um, music player from the Nexus One. So you have the first tab right there, which is artist. You also have albums, songs, and playlists, which is pretty cool. And last but not least, the home key. When you actually pull down the notification bar, it stays black and is transparent as well, so I like that feature to it. Go and take a look at some of the other Eclair fillings, like the dialer, which is as well from the next. I'm um, not from the Nexus One. It is this really cool, simplistic themed dialer, um, which is easy to press. Um, and you can see in your contacts app, it's just the stock contacts, nothing insanely different, except for that pull tab right there. You grab it and you pull it down, but it's actually highlighted blue now. 
pretty cool. Nothing really changed other than the dialer. And I already showed you guys the music. We'll go ahead and take, um, I already showed you guys the settings as well. And other than that, everything else is based off of 1.6. Show you guys that the market and paid apps is fully working, as is every single thing else. And of course, that works in landscape. And you can slide open your keyboard. Everything works perfectly fine on this ROM. And it is blazing fast because it comes with the 10 megabyte RAM hack pre installed. So that's pretty cool. You don't have to do any extra installing for the 10 megabyte RAM hack. You can see I have the new Opera Mini 5 beta browser as my default browser on the ROM. But other than that, um, I'll just show you guys that the camera is working. I'll first auto rotate my phone so the camera speed launches way faster. And we'll just tap camera. And here we are. You can see it's actually themed right there. It looks a little bit different. It says video and photo. So you can just take it and it fully works. And you have that autofocus key if you hold it down halfway. The rings turn green and you can take a pic. So let's go ahead and see how to get this ROM on our phone. You're going to go into the link in the description and download the ROM, which is where it'll be. Go ahead and unplug the USB cable from the bottom of the phone. Grab your USB cable and plug it in. Now go ahead and scroll down the notification bar, tap USB connected, hit mount, and go to the computer. Alright guys, now go ahead and find wherever you downloaded the Fast Test 3.0 with the 10 megabyte RAM hack. I've placed it right in this folder right here. And you're going to go ahead and drag that onto the root of your SD card. And you'll see that that is a 50.4 megabyte transfer. Alright guys, and when that's finished, go ahead and safely eject your phone from the computer and go back to your phone. Alright guys, now go ahead and unplug the USB cable from the bottom of the phone. And when the preparing SD card pops up, you're going to wait for it to go back away, which is that little icon right there. Now that it's gone, you can go ahead and reboot your phone into recovery. So I'll do that using this boot control that actually comes with the phone, and I'll hit recovery. And that will actually boot me straight into recovery. And again, I have the Amon Raw 1.6.2 recovery image. awkward silence. Alright guys, now that we're here, go ahead and scroll down to wipe and do a full data wipe. Then jump back, go to flash zip from SD card and flash fast test 3.0. Alright guys, and when it's done, go ahead and hit reboot system now and you're going to let your phone boot up and sign in with your Google account. Alright guys, and when your phone boots up, you will officially be running fast test 3.0 on your rooted T-Mobile G1 or MyTouch. Thanks for watching guys. Please remember to rate this video 5 stars, comment and subscribe and follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash androidsworld for all the latest updates and other than that, I'll see you guys in my next video.